Hi, I'm Ellie Crystal from crystallinks.com. Today is December 21st, 2016. It's the winter solstice in the Northern Hemisphere, the shortest day of the year, and the sun has moved into Capricorn. So I want to wish everybody a happy birthday. And uh, if you're a viewer of this video, or if you just are one of the thousands of people who come into Crystal Links every day, um, celebrating the winter solstice continues today but it actually as you know ha there were ceremonies that go all the way back to the beginning of time when the seasons were marked with giant stone megalithic markers today some people build their own stone markers just for the fun of it they have all different ways of delineating okay it's the shortest day of the year it's the first day of winter actually all you have to do is just walk outside and it's kind of cold this winter it's been a very cold winter with with setting temperature records for cold and snow and freezing rain um, the winter is not the easiest time for most people it's hard to get around but also emotionally it really takes a drain on people with something called seasonal affective disorder that's depression anxiety I'm, I'm trying to feel their energy but no, seriously, it's it's this whole feeling of hopelessness and um, depression. You just want to curl up in a bed with a book or watch some TV and not come out till the weather gets warm. This is a serious emotional problem. It is a condition. It is a disorder. Uh, there are other disorders also. Most disorders now, most personality disorders and other mental illnesses are heightened now not just because it's winter but because of everything that's going on in the world our reality is created by consciousness grids and at this particular time these grids are highly charged we see the breakdown of systems everywhere we see terrorism we see people just going postal all the time suicide rates are up People just don't know what to do. I mean, everybody is speculating, oh, it's because Trump was just elected president or, or because of this situation and that situation. But everywhere you look, everywhere you go, I don't care what season it is, you're just going to look around and you're just going to say everybody is really crazy. You know, there's no other way to put it. When we come to holidays, particularly Christmas, which is supposed to be a family time. If people don't have the ability to enjoy the holiday with their families for whatever the reason, they get even more emotionally stressed out. Stress is the name of the game now. It really is. More so in the winter. Sometimes it's just hard to get your car off a driveway or get to wherever you need to go and do what you need to do. That's why I always say be prepared, which I'm sure you know, but you can't always be prepared for the unforeseen, like power outages and, and ice storms or, or a lot of the states have tornadoes, things that just come out of the blue. All you can do is the best you can do and there's nothing more. But when we look at the world now, we we get scared. We I know people who live here, I'm in New York, I know people who live here that really worry about terrorism. Uh, frankly, I, I don't see it here. I really don't, unless it's a small pocket of trouble. I do not see another 9-11 incident happening here. I feel the United States, except for what could be like, actually the, the people who are mentally unstable, who are going around and they are shooting people, and, and this is just awful. It's as bad as terrorism. It's just terrorism on a smaller scale. Uh, whether you can attribute it to religion, and ISIS, the Islamic states, and everything political and economic and religious and all of these things that are going on in the world, it's really a combination of everything. You can't just say it's one thing, that ISIS has created, suddenly created all of these things and all of these people, making all of these people crazy, but it's like a domino effect. You start to have these little incidents of violence and terrorism and suddenly everybody who has emotional problems, particularly those who are challenged and they can't find work and they can't adjust to life as it is, 
those people are going to do irrational things and there is no leader in any country anywhere who can prevent it you can there are organizations of course law enforcement that have you know definitely prevented some of the things but it's the homegrown stuff that really tells you you don't know who's going to walk into a mall or a theater or a school or or anywhere and just start shooting people because they have mental illness there's nothing else the mental illness frequency is becoming more and more profound more strong more confused to people and this is a very, very difficult time. Now, as we move this through this season and we do the best we can, you know, in the winter to stay warm, to stay safe, um, as the days now, they'll start to get longer. Starting from tomorrow, the days will grow longer. But as we move through this season, you just have to take it slow. The winter keeps people in more. I call it the going in time. It keeps them... There's less um, protests, there's less acting out in the streets, but when the next season rolls around, when we come to the spring equinox, people are going to come out and things are not going to be very nice. Uh, you cannot expect Trump or Hillary Clinton or Obama or Bush or anybody to come in and change the country around. No matter who would have been elected, no matter what would have happened as we move from the winter, which is going to be a toughie, into the spring, you're still going to get the protests because things are not balanced. And the real name of the game is freedom. It should be balanced, but freedom and balance go together. And especially, you know, people with, with emotional problems now who are perhaps are drinking more, uh, a lot of weed, Oof, people are, are legalizing weed and they're smoking weed and they think that's fine. Whatever works for you. I'm not here to judge. I'm really not. But if you're one of those people, keep a check on your emotions just to make sure you're, you're, you know, you, you're in check for things because life is going to get harder. It's like when Obama came in, things were really bad in the economy. And has he helped a little here and a little there? And is the market overly inflated about to tip the scales at 20,000 and whatever? I don't go by any of that as markers. I go by the fact that there's a lot of people who have lost their homes. They're unemployed. I know the unemployment level is down, but it depends on what time of the year you're monitoring that. And people don't know what to do when they can't support their families, when they can't take care of themselves and those they love. It's very, very difficult times now. And now this is compounded by the thing that I watch the most and I blog about very frequently, and that's what I label the earth changes. Meaning, in the ring of fire, the earthquakes, okay, going all the way down to all the way up to the Arctic, the earthquakes have increased since November 15th, uh, November 14th, into the sixes and the sevens, and now we're into the eights, and all that's left is the nines, and the nines create tsunamis and volcanic disasters. This is, this is very, very difficult. If you happen to live in any of those areas, I assume you're braced for impact because it's, it's going to be very, very difficult right now. I'm not saying pack your bag and leave beautiful West Coast to come to the East Coast here. No, I'm not telling anybody to move anywhere. Trust your guidance. Think about what you feel is right. Watch the earthquake activity. Uh, years ago, people used to tell me, but Ellie, there's always sevens and eights and, and all of that. Yeah, they weren't affecting populated areas. Now they are. Now the earthquakes, there was a huge one about a week or so ago, uh, right off the coast of California. I think it was a seven. It, 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 these are bad. These are big and bad. In the United States, the weakest point is Oklahoma because of the fracking, and most people know that. Have to watch that one. Uh, let's see, where else? Italy had a lot of big earthquakes in northern Italy. Everywhere you look, there's going to be earthquakes. There is an earthquake map. I could put a link to it that you could check it every day. You could check it on my blog. The red circles, the bigger they are, the more powerful the earthquake. When you click on the map, it not only shows you the earthquake, but the aftershocks. 
it's really important if you don't even live in an earthquake zone you're like well let those people deal with it that's their problem you know every problem that's going on from the economy to to politics we have so many elections in europe coming up next year and brexit happened this year and and it's just crazy the italian um president is gone everything is changing nothing is going to stay steady why because we live in a holographic universe and it is we are in end times and it is going to end whether we like it or not or want it to not or we we try to fix the climate that's not going to help you can't fix what is destined to happen now uh, I did something yesterday or the day before on prophecies. The prophecies as a whole, tr the prophets and the prophecies try to pinpoint. The old prophecies try to just pinpoint a general time when things were going to happen. But they all named this general time as an end time. You know, generally saying silly things like, well, if we all get our act together, you know, and we all become these great, wonderful people, then everything is going to be well and good. But that's not true. So we just have to forget about that. But when we get to current day prophecies, these are your predictions. This is your science. This is you as a person with psychic ability saying, okay, don't look for a date. Time is an illusion. Okay? It, it, you can't get a date. You might see it in the consciousness grids a day or two before it happens. You may dream, oh my God, I dreamed this, this major earthquake happened or there was a tsunami. The tsunami dreams are getting very popular now, by the way. But you may dream it, but it, it just is what it is. So here we are now, the first day of winter. A lot of people feeling the anxiety because of all the terrorism around the world and the weather and and just uh, there is a hopelessness. I want to watch uh, the interview that Oprah did with Michelle Obama, two women I greatly admire and like, and it has to do with being hopeful and hopelessness, but hopeful and terms like hopeful and free will and terms like that are really just put into the illusion so we will continue to play this ridiculous game that we call physical reality but it's really all predetermined it's only predestined i mean i can hope i win a million dollars in a lottery now and go out and go buy a ticket today and go i am going to be helpful hopeful well i'm hoping to be helpful also but i'm you know hope Hope is very deceptive and can be very false. And as a friend of mine told me recently, hope means you're putting your power with somebody else. You're saying, okay, I'm hoping that such and such gives me a job, okay, that this and that happens. No, you've got the answers. You know it. It's, it's all built into your DNA. It's all built into your grids. Just the only thing you can do in this solstice, and oh, let's just do through the winter and then we'll come back and revisit with a new video in the spring, is just keep yourself safe and warm. And if it's slippery and icy, that black ice thing, don't go breaking a leg. Every time I see the ice and snow come down, I, I think of the chiropractors and the orthopedic surgeons and I hear the cash register going ding, 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 you know, like, oh boy, you know, I know that's silly, but I'm a silly person. But the, at the end of the day, for this winter solstice, if you feel you need to do a meditation, go for it. You can meditate and just say, okay, what's ahead for me in the world? Uh, you can do a visualization. You can do whatever you want to do. It's, it's really up to you. You can do it anywhere, anyhow. Just go out and be it and feel it, but go from the understanding that this is a consciousness grid experience and whatever you're doing is you taking your consciousness here and placing it into the collective grids and coming back with information. If you meditate more than 10 minutes, you're sleeping. So wake up, fess up to that. You're probably just tired. Uh, it's going to get hard now. This is not going to be an easy winter. I'm sorry. I don't mean to say that, but I am a very pragmatic person. I live in New York. We say it like it is. And 
do the best you can to get through the season and I will see you again. Thank you and have a happy holiday.